Hey guys and girls, welcome to Devlog 11, where we're here at the beach, where we're hoping or thinking that you start off. We might have a little intro or something saying, oh, I seem to be washed up, or who knows? I don't I don't know really how to go there. I'm not really the best at story. I'm good at like the mechanics. But uh, there's a fire pit here, and it's like, huh, don't have any fire wood, or wood, I should say. So if we go down here, it looks like there's a bit of a path here, but it looks like it's blocked. Hmm. Oh, it looks like there's a stick here. So if we grab the wood and go up here, it'll reappear qu quite fast because there are timers. Uh, we go up to here, we can add a piece of firewood, or wood, I should say. And then if we light it, there you go. And oh, what is this? Hello there, I just saw your fire and thought I might uh, need help getting uh, past the fallen tree. My name is Olivia. What is your name? And this is where you can put your name, say Kane. Kane, such a wonderful name. If you need anything, just ask me in the inn. You can get yourself a room uh, and have a good night's sleep. And then she walks away. Uh, I had to pause it because I wanted to move, but it got glitchy at that point. So she kept walking, in a sense, down over here. And she left out, and now it's open. And this is sort of how you get into the main area now where we can visit the two uh, places. Of course, I still need to build the inn, but... Uh, that was sort of like the idea of trying to get out of there. Now, it is going to be like an open world. We're not going to make it all the time where you're stuck saying, oh, you, you can't get past it. But I thought the first area, like this first main one, there would be some obstacles. And even that, like we want the open world to be kind of open world. But that, that sort of idea, we also want side things to not be so open world as well. So you can walk around here. We got a little bridge here. You got stones and some sticks around the world. Uh, this is a broken bridge. This is only mechanically tested. Doesn't even take anything, but you basically, yeah, it's a test. And you can open the bridge here. And then I was thinking down here somewhere, you can uh, go further and, uh, you know, go uh, to another zone or area. Uh, up here is a cave system. Uh, this is a test MP thing. Oh, yeah, this is a test quest system. Hello, friend. My name is. I'm sorry, but you don't seem to have a stone pick yet. So she's, she's actually mad at me for not owning a stone pick. So I need to grab uh, some more stone here. No, oh, there it is. And then I thought I saw a piece of wood over here. Uh, here's one here. So it wants us to make a pick. So I was thinking I'll have another NPC talk about it. So maybe she'll... She talked about her brother, I think. But I think I might have the brother actually in the blacksmith house. Maybe talk about it. Like, he could be the blacksmith himself. And then we can go over here, of course. And build a pick. Now, th these are, like, conditions that we have set. Now, I don't know if this works. I mean, this was very rough draft that I made a while ago. Uh, but the idea now is we should be able to... At least get her quest maybe hello friend blah 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 there you go so we got a quest so it wants us to mine some copper ore and then inside here there should be some copper ore here it is i might set it to a higher number of course like maybe five or six or who knows but uh you can grab the copper ore and uh then come out here and then talk to her there you go Of course, the clapping and whatnot has to go eventually, but uh, yeah, it's not too, too bad. And uh, that's sort of like the intro anyways. Um, it's, I mean, like you, you think about that, it's just a whole three minutes of gameplay for all that. That's kind of insane. That's why you start filling it with meat and potatoes. Like you start adding a bit more grinding into it. For example, it wouldn't have just been one copper ore. Maybe it had been five copper ore. Uh, maybe when you mine the copper, there could be a chance of some kind of creature, some copper monster. And when you kill him, maybe he drops extra copper. Um, it's like a mechanic you can add over time. There will be some monsters in the cave. Maybe there will be some creatures out here during the nighttime, maybe during the daytime. Who knows? So of course, we have the inn where you'll sleep and you can reset the time of day. There will be quite a few little things over time that will, will of course, add. Um, but yeah, I, I hope you guys like it. I mean, it, it is the beginning. And there's a lot of work to do. But uh, you can see I spent most of my time working on the, the initial part of the game where I've been working on you know the crafting system and the events related to it and the questing system and events related to it and just getting like a sound structure set down uh, so everything works out to be you know a working game in the end. 
But uh, either way, um, we're already, you know, if you think about it, we're already halfway there to most uh, Call of Duty games for uh, story content. <laughs> Joking aside, we'll continue working on it and uh, hopefully we'll get better and uh, we'll go from there. So thank you guys and girls so much for watching. I hope you enjoy this. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and we'll see you wonderful people next time. Please don't forget to check out elmlore.com.